We are at the Four Seasons, the Nam Hai, and Hoi An, Vietnam. We've spent a lovely two nights on this incredible stretch of beach, and we can't wait to tell you everything you need to know before you book. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Mac. I'm Marin. We're Voyager Drew. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video and you find the content useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really does help our videos get more exposure and produce more videos just like this. All right, so let's jump right into our review. Our first category is location. Location, we rate five stars. The Four Seasons is situated outside of Hoi An, the town center, and it is on a beautiful white sand beach. It is an entire kilometer long beach and it's absolutely spectacular. This property is 34 hectares, which is massive. They have 45 hundred palm trees across this property and there are gardens there are beautiful areas of sand and this stretch of beach goes far beyond the property while there is one kilometer of beachfront in front of this property the beach goes for miles and miles and miles in fact in both directions you can walk for hours including all the way to the city of Da Nang if you were really up for it but I think that'd be kind of an exhausting walk <laughs> on this beach but the beach is incredibly beautiful and right now we do have some swells and some waves and that is seasonal sometimes it is completely calm here and you can see lots of traveler photos where it's completely pristine calm the water's a little chillier this time of year and there are some swells we're currently here in the beginning of January and we've actually had some wonderful weather for this time of year too we had a nice mix of sun but some cooler temperatures and so it's really been nice and kind of perfect temperature to be along this beach. All of the buildings at the hotel are one story tall so the profile of the hotel is super low to the ground and you have beautiful sun all day long. All of the palm trees provide beautiful coverage of the property and shade at the pool and it's just a remarkable location. Hoi An is only a 10 minute drive away and they do have shuttles which we'll talk about a little bit later in facilities but it's a really convenient location for any activities, especially going into the town of Hoi An. Because they have the shuttles and it's also a quick taxi ride away, it makes it a great location to both be on the beach, but also see some cultural activities or go in and get some things done at the tailors. If you wanna learn more about Hoi An and the Da Nang area, make sure to check out our video where we have a discussion about booking and how we actually feel like we should have spent more time here than we really did. Our second category is lobby and check-in. Lobby and check-in, we rate five stars. We were picked up by the Four Seasons in a private transfer from our other hotel, and from the moment we were picked up, it was a really seamless experience. The driver spoke great English and had water and cold towels in the car waiting for us when we got it. When we arrived to the property, we were greeted by the staff and seated for a check-in with a wonderful welcome beverage and shown around the property. The reception area for lobby and check-in is outdoors, but they do have an indoor reception area as well. It's a really lovely area to look at the property as it cascades down the hill through all the pools and far in the distance, the ocean. It's amazing to see how big this property is when you first arrive not only does it stretch across this massive section of beach but from the lobby and reception area all the way down to the beach is huge and when you come in you go through all these massive palm trees on this beautiful drive there's vegetation everywhere everything is really well grown in and it makes a wonderful welcome when we were checking in they gave us a map and all of the detailed activities and amenities that the hotel offers we were given a tour of the property as well, and since it is so big, that was, I think, really necessary. <laughs> the lobby is the central point of the property, and all of the restaurants and other amenities are in that same area. So from that perspective, it's a great central meeting point of the hotel. We arrived super early in the morning, so our room was not yet ready, but we did have a lovely coffee while we waited, and then we were quickly taken to the room within an hour of being here. All of our luggage was already in the room, and the bellman was really helpful. He was super, super knowledgeable about the area, and again, Again, spoke English very well. He was able to tell us all of the things that we should do in Hoi An, which we <laughs> couldn't do because we just didn't have enough time to do, but things we really wanted to do. And then he gave us a tour of the room, which brings us to our third category, rooms. Rooms were a 4.5 stars. Every room on property is a villa, so there are anything from one bedroom villas like we are in today, all the way up through five bedroom villas. All of the villas are very similar. They're set up to be individual units that are connected by living rooms if you do have one of the larger suites. We are in one of the one bedroom beachfront villas, which is absolutely amazing. We have a direct view and access to the beach from our villa, and it is absolutely beautiful. These rooms are very unusual. When you first walk in, it's set up just like a central Vietnamese traditional house. We have a lounge area right in the center that's kind of raised above the floor. There's a freestanding bathtub and lounge space, as well as a desk that you can kind of pop into. It is a sunken desk, so it's very untraditional from a hotel perspective 
but it is a very cool use of space in the middle of the villa. On the left-hand side is the bathroom. The bathroom is beautiful. It has a his and hers vanity, his and hers closets, his and hers amenities, as well as an indoor and outdoor shower. One of the things I loved about the bathroom was how many amenities they did have. There are two sets of toiletries for the shower, both indoor and outdoor, so you don't need to go back and forth to get the different products. They are also Natura Bisse products, which is my personal favorite brand, and that was a really wonderful bathroom experience. On the right-hand side of the villa is the king bed that overlooks the view. It is raised above the living space, and it has an absolutely spectacular view to wake up to. Down below is the sunken living room with a large flat bed sofa style seating, as well as doors to the patio, which has two beautiful loungers facing that incredible view. We had a beautiful welcome gift when we entered the room of some nice dragon fruit with a lot of helpful explanations in general across the room. There's all kinds of little notes and explainers that help you understand the property, help you understand the things that have been left in the room. And I think that's a really nice touch that they've had throughout this experience. The bed looks out at the ocean with picturesque views, but still has a hidden TV that comes from inside a console. There are so many cool features of this room and the fact that it was designed around a traditional Vietnamese style does kind of forgive some of the impracticalities of the room. But what really made our room fabulous was that perfect view of the ocean. There are a number of different room types on this property, some that include pools as well as multiple bedrooms. But this beachfront room was really my favorite just because you have such an expansive, large white sand beach. Even though the property is really large, we always found ourselves walking along the beach to get to the restaurants because it was actually a lot shorter than taking the bicycles or taking a buggy around. We could just walk straight down the beach to the main area where the restaurants and the main pools are. There are multiple types of rooms on property. If you're looking at a one bedroom room type, I would highly recommend the beachfront rooms. They are more private than some of the rooms that are facing sideways or slanted views to the ocean. Even though the room is not particularly private from the sides or the villa next door to us, it does just have such an incredible view that I think it's worth that upgrade. You can also book the one bedroom pool villas. They do have a separate living room attached to them. Those are really beautiful, but they are not beachfront. They do have a slanted ocean view. If you are coming with a large family or multi-generational groups or friend groups, they do have multi-bedroom villas as well. They all have separate bedrooms that are not attached to each other that share a common living space. They do have some beachfront pool versions of these rooms, and those are great for large groups. An interesting thing to note is that this hotel was taken over in 2014 by the Four Seasons and was previously called the Nam Hai. Now, because this hotel was previously built, there are some limitations of how the villas were built originally. The one bedroom that we're currently in, it does appear used to probably be part of a two bedroom setup in the previous design. And because of that, there is a little bit of a strange kind of lack of privacy between you and the villa next to you. You are kind of part of an enclave where you're walled in, but when you enter those walls, you are directly next to another villa. And I think that's one issue that I don't entirely love about the privacy, but it does appear that on some villas we did notice along the beach, they are growing a hedge in. So I think that's gonna be something that takes some time. There was a lot of vegetation and very grown in on this property previously. And apparently they've cut back a lot, but now they're reintroducing a lot of new palm trees and new shrubbery to I think kind of bring back some of the privacy that maybe existed in the previous hotel, at least from kind of what we've understood. Every room does come with bicycles. They do have kids bikes as well as adult bikes, which is a great way to get around property because it is so large. You can also take the beach way, but the bicycles are amazing and you can kind of drive around and get lost on the property. You can always call for a buggy as well that is available across all of the rooms. I would say the biggest thing missing from these rooms is a little bit of modernization. The blinds are a little on the old side and don't entirely work well. There's also some kind of finicky things with lighting and some older appliances and older switches that are left over from previous room types. So there's kind of a mix of new and old in this room, but the design and the style really are quite cool. If you have a meal plan that does include the mini bar, so you do have a great mini bar, there is alcohol in the mini bars as well, and those are included for any of the pool villas specifically. One thing we'd love to see in the future included at the Four Seasons here is beach chairs on the beachfront rooms. We do have two covered patio loungers, but there are no sun chairs on these rooms, and that would just be an amazing addition. True to the Four Seasons brand, they have so many different amenities and features of the rooms that really do make it special. Apart from the standard bedding, which is probably my favorite in the entire world, they do have little candles all over the room, as well as the singing bowl, 
which is very on brand for the property here in Vietnam. I absolutely loved a turndown that they would light the candles in the room. It was just such a cozy way to come back after dinner. Speaking of that amazing turndown, that brings us to our fourth category, service. Service, we rate four stars. I love Four Seasons service because everywhere around the world, they always greet you by name. And that is a really, really incredible part of being in the Four Seasons. Service overall across the property was really good. People are kind, speak good English across the board, and are very, very service oriented. One area we felt the service did fall short was in dining when it became busy. If you're the only people in the restaurant or there's just a few people, regardless of whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, the service is incredible. But once the service starts to get busy, you start to feel the service draw back a little bit, dishes get missed, or they just don't come by. There are so many incredible service aspects that they have done on this property, little small touches and unique things to the property and the hotel, incorporating the culture and the local atmosphere. But there are so many things that they've just kind of missed from a standard baseline service level. And a lot of those do come down to if they get a little bit busy, they don't seem to be able to meet those increased demands. And it's not like they get super busy. We saw managers taking orders and clearing plates. It feels like they're just slightly understaffed. And even though there's not a lot of people, it feels like they might be kind of in a rehiring mode where a lot of the employees are new and there's still some repercussions lasting from some of the impacts that COVID had. They do have beach and pool service and typical to Four Seasons brand, they always come around with little treats throughout the day, which was really, really nice. You can order food and drinks to the chairs at the pool and the beach. Buggy drivers are always just a few minutes away. So if you call or text the WhatsApp line, you can get a buggy at any point in time to go anywhere across the property. They do have daily room cleaning and turndown service for all of the rooms across the property. And housekeeping overall is good. There are some inconsistencies. It's very clear that two people clean the room. One took one side, one took the other, as the cleaning was not quite the same across both sides of the room. But that being said, the turndown service is wonderful. And last night on our last night, we did receive a goodbye gift. There's always a note in the room inviting us to a cocktail party or a bookmark left on the bed for a book. It's just overall really nice touches. Overall, we had really positive experiences and all the members of the staff that we engaged with were super eager to please and really seem to enjoy their job. They really like working for Four Seasons. There's a lot of perks. They feel like there's a lot of upward mobility, which is great. And a lot of the management also get to travel quite extensively to other Four Seasons, which is great from a learning perspective and being able to increase the level of service here on this property. Those type of programs really will help the service in the long run. And I think maybe bring a touch of refinement to the service across this property. We did have a lot of interesting conversations, particularly with the dining staff, when there were some lulls in lower, less busy times. And that brings us to our fifth category, which is dining. Dining, we're at four and a half stars. Every meal we had on property was excellent, and particularly the croissants of breakfast. I have searched for croissants all over this country, and this hotel has finally nailed it. The food here is excellent, whether you're dining on Western dishes, Indian dishes, or soon to be their new Japanese restaurant. Overall, we've had really positive dining experiences. You really can't fault the food quality in any way, whether it is the more Asian-inspired dishes that they have here, they also have a lot of Vietnamese cuisine, or some of the more Western dishes that you'll be more familiar with. There really is a fabulous level of cuisine across this property. Really, the only thing that we have to fault them for is just that experience level of combining both food and dining, it's slightly lacking in terms of the timing because of some of these stresses that they seem to have with understaffing and a little bit of that lack of refinement in the way that they offer service in the dining outlets. But the food truly is fantastic. And I honestly think that across all of our meals, I really don't think there was anything that I could truly say wasn't made the way it was supposed to be, didn't have wonderful flavor, wonderful taste, was as fresh as it could be. We really had some really great meals while we were on property. They do have multiple outlets as well. They do have one restaurant for breakfast, which is a buffet and an a la carte option. That restaurant is also open for dinner and is converting to a fully Indian restaurant. The Indian food there was fantastic. We ate there on our first night and it was absolutely delicious. The chef is from India and the menu is wonderful. There is also another restaurant that is a Vietnamese style restaurant that they're converting to be a French Vietnamese inspired restaurant. They do have a new restaurant that's opening up, which is a Japanese restaurant. They do also have room service, of course, on property, which is not included in any of the meal plans. Finally, we did get to take part in a special barbecue romantic beach dinner. That barbecue dinner can be in your villa or on the main beach in front of the pool area. 
While the pool area is not as private, it is a very beautiful setting, especially at night with the pool and the light behind you all lit up. The food is either a Western menu or an Eastern menu. We took part in the Eastern menu and it does come with a glass of champagne and overall that experience was exceptional. If you are staying here, do know that you will be paying Four Seasons prices for that food. The food is quite expensive and while it is justified for the quality of the food and the elevation of some of the dishes, the way they've kind of elevated a lot of Vietnamese dishes and really brought truly inspired cuisine across these outlets, there are also just some standard things like your sodas and beverages, beer that's just basic beer that they've marked up quite a bit. So if you are looking to book, do be prepared to pay high-end American prices for most things. It is a little less expensive than some of the Four Seasons around the world. However, it is certainly not in line with Vietnam and Vietnamese prices. Don't expect just because it's in Vietnam to encounter those cheaper prices. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities vary five stars. This property is so large and so beautiful and has every imaginable facility, including tennis courts, new pickleball courts, and pal courts. The gym is really well equipped with new techno gym equipment, the steam and sauna for males and females, as well as a number of activities and free classes, such as a lean fit, TRX class, yoga, meditation, and way more. Another amazing part of this property is the spa. It is beautiful. It is set on a gorgeous little lagoon. They have some experiences there, including the goodnight letter to earth experience where you light hoi on candles and send them off with your wishes into the lagoon. It was a magical experience. And we actually followed that with a beautiful evening spa treatment on that lagoon where there were fire torches outside, casting light across the lagoon. It was extremely relaxing and the spa treatment itself was wonderful. I would highly recommend booking an evening treatment just because of the lighting and the relaxation at the spa. That pond lit up with the fire was really, really incredible. So if you can go to that evening ritual with the lighting of the candle lanterns and then do your spa treatment because that was the perfect pairing. They do also offer a number of paid activities like cooking classes, other fitness experiences, and they do also have visiting practitioners that spend between two weeks to a month here, which is an amazing experience and you can see that on their website. The property also has three separate pools, including a large, beautiful infinity pool, another more family-focused pool, and a beautiful lap pool. There is so much space across this property and so many things to see. There's honestly corners of this property we didn't even get to visit. They also have a little hidden temple on property if you can find it. Fun fact about this hotel is it was originally a fishing village where this temple was located. The previous owners before Four Seasons built the hotel on top of it but kept that temple which is super cool. They do also run shuttles into Hoi An which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Those shuttles run three times a day at 3, 5, and 8 p.m. and do come back latest at 8.30. It is also a really short taxi ride. It's very cheap. It's only 10 minutes away. It would probably cost about $5. We did mention earlier that they also have bicycles to get around property. The one thing we would like to see them do in facilities is actually relocate those bicycles in the evening. We did notice lots of guests take them to dinner and then maybe take a shuttle back or make their way down the beach, but then don't have their bicycle the next day. So that would be a nice touch to see as well. They do have a water sports center, but sometimes during the year because of the swell or the weather, you won't be able to take part in any of those activities. So just keep that in mind if you are booking for some of those water sports like jet skis and catamarans as we did not have the chance to do any of those activities during our stay because of the ocean swells. Our seventh and final category, style. Style will rate four and a half stars. What I love about this property is the really traditional ornate style that they have. It's really, really cool to see that and be in Vietnam because you really do feel that sense of place. The villas in particular are so cool and so unique. They're really unlike a lot of rooms we've ever seen around the world. We were told that the villa setup is based on the central Vietnamese style of the traditional homes, which I think is a really cool and unique way to build a property. There's also gorgeous furniture in these rooms. It's traditionally built, and a lot of the furniture has beautiful ornate pillows and really colorful fabrics. If you don't know yet, Hoi An is actually known for its tailoring and its fabric. It became famous as a port town where fabrics were traded and tailors made them into all kinds of beautiful goods, including both fabrics, but also leathers. So there's an enormous amount of high quality crafts that you can find here in Hoi An, and they've really integrated that 
across the property into the style. One thing Vietnam is famous for is the coffee. And what I love about the Four Seasons is their coffee menu and all of their beans and coffees are sourced locally in Vietnam and sustainably. They do work with a number of organizations that protect the environment, but also the villages that are taking part in growing coffee beans. So their coffee menu is exquisite and it's even made on recycled cupboards from the old hotel and laser printed on the menu. It is just a really cool experience and very much part of the style of the hotel. While the style is pretty consistent across property, it does appear that there is some furniture that's a little on the older side. It's a little bit dated and it feels like maybe they're trying to phase that out. We weren't entirely clear from walking around the property, whether that is something that's happening. But we did notice at certain outlets that there were some chairs that kind of had an elevated level of style and some chairs that were a little on the older side. I think that that might be something that they're working on, but certainly tying that style together throughout the property is something that I think future refreshes and small renovations will help do. Overall, we rate this property 4.6 stars. It is a beautiful hotel located in one of the coolest towns in Vietnam that we have seen so far. It is an incredible experience to be here and we highly, highly recommend a stop at the Four Seasons here at the Nam Hai. One of the things that surprised us the most was how beautiful this beach was, how expansive it was, and I really just wish we had had more time because we wanted to wander up and down this beach and take long walks and go into Hoi An, but again, we just kind of ran out of time. We're seeing a lot of Vietnam right now. We've been here for almost a month now, so we've got a lot of different content that you should definitely go check out. If you found this video useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button, sign up for notifications. We have many more videos coming out from all of those destinations that we did visit in Vietnam as well as hotels around the world. And if you follow us on Instagram, you'll have already seen the entire story from the Four Seasons play out on our stories and our feed. So if you don't already, be sure to follow us at Voyager Guru and be sure to check out our website, voyagerguru.com for all of our destination guides, written versions of all of our hotel reviews, and lots and lots of other information about Vietnam and the rest of the world. You can actually just type in voyager.guru now, which is kind of cool. That is cool. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. See you out there.